Good morning guys! Today is vlog day 3 and third day here in Antwerp and today I'm alone which is a good thing for me and um, Lodi went uh, back to the Netherlands for some meeting and then he's gonna come back um, later this afternoon and I think I'm gonna head out and to eat some breakfast, to eat some waffles and roam around the city and I will check out this kind of like um, the Holland uh, food stall in Amsterdam. They also have it here and it's called Mercato. So this is the website, it says Mercato. So it's every, it's open every Wednesday to Saturday. It's a food market. So there's some food stands inside and oh, that's nice. This is my t-shirt. It says, don't look for love, look for pizza. This is from Timothy Goodman. I've been following him in Instagram for such a long time. I think I've been a fan of him for four years now. And I will link it down below where you can find this t-shirt. It's really cool. So and that's what I'm wearing today. I know it's kind of weird to do some fashion thing, but this is related to food and I like anything like t-shirt when relate like french fries, you know, and then there's a little detail on the side. If you can see that, there's a little detail of pizza. So yeah, don't look for love, look for pizza. We're taking this one, number three, going to Grunplatz. Apparently I went out of the metro because there's no metro running and I've been there for like 10 minutes. So I'm walking from, I'm gonna walk for 20 minutes gonna be a lovely day anyway it's a lovely day anyway so I don't mind walking and seeing some streets it's just a sunny day and this is the reason why I love Antwerp is look I like the buildings I'm here now so we're gonna walk around and check and see what they have for me I'm quite getting hungry well it's a big place so I will run you to one by one of the saw what they have so I think they have from Middle Eastern to Chinese to I don't know let's check it out so this is some Middle Eastern cuisine I believe let's see. Let's see what I feel like eating. So, yes. Some ribs, some pork. And Italian street food. That's interesting. So I have some Mexican. It's kind of cool though. And they have a Malaysian cuisine.
some dim sum. So I think I'm gonna have some pork belly buns. I don't feel like eating any oyster or something fishy. So it's not quite a lot of choices, but it's fine. It's an interesting place, maybe for a night time. And they also have some bar. So I'm gonna go and check maybe some Italian. Hi, can I have a um, quesadilla, the champignon? Yeah, it's from us of the meantime, that's it. For the meantime, that's it. Yeah. Yes, sure. And what drinks do you have? Do you have some drinks? Here? Oh, in the bar. Okay. So this is what I'm eating. I got a quesadilla and a gin tonic, of course. It's not too late. It's not too early to drink. It's really good. a quesadilla or a taco you're gonna tilt your head it's not the tacos or the quesadilla will tilt, tilt for you mm. it's really good cheers So I guess that's it for my Mercado experience. I've just had some quesadilla and some dim sum and it's worth a visit and I'm worth to, to come and eat here. It's for the family, it's for a group of friends and there's a lot of um, cuisine and kitchen to choose from. Van Hecke and Iceland Van Hecke is one of the oldest ice cream parlor in Antwerp and founded in 1905 by, by Gustavo Van Hecke and today is our last this today is my last trip in Antwerp and I wanted to have some good waffle so I ordered a yin yang and that that has an ice cream a warm chocolate sauce a strawberry uh, cream cream fresh slug <laughs> Ice cream, chocolate sauce, and strawberry and cream. Mr. Gustavo Van Hecke started opening his. Uh, he opened his very first. Before his history was, he was selling waffles door to door, and now here in National Strat, he opened his first store, and then from 1969 or something 1960s. He sold the restaurant and then today there's also another restaurant but then they left his trademark and still doing the same traditional um, waffle. So let's wait till my waffle comes and I will show it to you. Oh my god, this is one of the best waffles I've ever had in Belgium. You think so? It's light, it's scary, it's crispy. And also the ice cream is very very good. And they celebrated their hundred hundred year anniversary last 2005. And now I see they're upstairs, such as already their hundred second year. Mm. 
I'm gonna show you around the area later. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you my plate and Lori's plate. And this is his plate. Happy? Yeah, it's good. And this is my plate. I can't. I'm having difficulties finishing it. Guys, coming here is a worth an experience. And it's like um, 11 minutes by a metro from the central station. And if you want to walk, it's 20 minutes walking and then you can see like this area has a lot of restaurants and a lot of, a lot of shopping area as well. So yeah, if you're tired and if you get dinner somewhere or some lunch somewhere, you can pass by here, have a massive sweet tooth overload. <laughs> Salud, boss. Salud, boss. How are you doing? Did you like the waffles? Perfect. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Good. So, if you want to visit after, come, come to Aisha Van Hecker. I will uh, put down the biggest sound below the video. National Stop 88, 2000 Antwerp. I'm the mama. And she is the mama, the chef. Uh, oh, hola, chef. She is the hola que pasa. Happy vibes here, good waffle. The waffle is very good, so you can ask anything more. If you want, if you want to visit Astro, this is the best waffle in town. Thank you. Oh, in town. Still here, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will all link it down below the um, the details about this place. And if you're here in Antwerp, you need to come and try, and it's worth it. From a very long day, especially after a very long day of shopping, and don't forget to give me some love. And till next time, this is Seth's Kitchen. Bye. Feeling such a dork and awkward walk talking in front of a camera, especially if you're walking in a public place. And it's just so awkward for me. <laughs> I'm not used to this and I'm used to just being in my kitchen and filming.